this basket. It's uh, from Tonga. It was brought to the museum in 1904. It's the best version of um, uh, kato alu that I've seen and that anyone else that I know has seen. The kato alu is a ceremonial basket that's used in um, weddings and funerals in Tonga and in, by Tongans abroad as well. Um, it's made by made from the alu plant or the taro vine um, and it's a long process of collecting, um, drying, boiling and dyeing the vine before it's then um, wetted again to be woven into the basket. It's decorated with uh, coconut senate fibre or coconut husk fibre and you can see it's been really finely braided. I'm not sure if the darkness of the fibre is um, is indicative of it being dyed or if it's um, just the patina because of the age. When these are presented at uh, a wedding or funeral um, ceremony, they'd be f traditionally be filled with oils, fine oils, uh, coconut or candlenut oils. We still use the katoalu today. Um, but because of its rarity and because the alu plant is only found in Ewa now, um, it's very difficult to, to actually get hold of. You, it will take, you would have to order one months and months in advance and then you wouldn't, you, they're, they're also quite expensive to purchase. If I bought one today, it might cost me about $1,500. Um, so tomorrow, there's a modern day version we call it katoteu, and that's a decorated basket. It can be any kind of basket and decorated with any sorts of materials from beads to feathers, type of cloth, any sort of, um, any sort of material depending on the creator. And instead of oils, they'd be um, put with, filled with um, perfumes, any sort of Christian Dior, Chanel, whatever sorts of perfumes, to hairbrushes, anything that you think would be um, used by a new bride or like a cosmetic bag, if you like. Um, in the funeral, this would be placed at the, towards the head of the deceased um, and it would be used mainly for the perfumes. So there would be a, a person from the deceased mother's family, so um, a person from the maternal family looking after the body and also spreading perfume on, not on the deceased, but on um, the clothing and mats that are spread on top of them. So it's, it's a very important and um, relevant item of our material culture.